You alluded to this a little bit earlier. Our brains are wired to avoid failure and resist change and seek low risk situations. But in today's world, taking risks, being agile, those are where the rewards are. How do we overcome our biology right, right. and embrace these activities that may result in failure? Well, I, th I think it's it, we do this at three levels, and and maybe we need all of them, um, or or maybe just you know one or two, and we just keep practicing. But the the three levels are really cognitive, kind of interpersonal and organizational. And the cognitive is the is the is the task of reframing, and. That just means to sort of pause long enough to take a, a cool eyed look at the situation and remind yourself, you know, that remind yourself, no, I'm not supposed to be good at this already. Or no, there is no way to know for sure if this, this is a risk worth taking or, or this is a, this failure that just happened, um, was, does not, is not blameworthy or shameful. It's a necessary step stepping stone on a path forward, right? So you sort of reframe the situation to be honestly more realistic and accurate so long as it's in new territory. So you just train yourself to be a little more cool headed about rather than to have those instant emotion. You'll have those instant emotional responses, but you can sort of, you can talk yourself down off the, you know, off that high perch and say, no, this makes sense. The group, the interpersonal, really, let's go back to psychological safety, right? Let's create environments where people are all about learning and supporting each other in that learning. They're also all about ambition and stretching and, and holding each other to high standards, right? The, the, this is a sort of a learning environment, if you will. And then finally, organizational incentives and structures, systems have to um, enable risk taking and, and, you know, importantly, spread the lessons of the failures that do happen widely so that we never have to experience a particular intelligent failure a second time. It's no longer intelligent the second time around. So you in a way have to re-engineer every aspect of your world to do this well because it so goes against the human grain, right? The human grain, we want to be perfect. We want not to fail. We want to be liked. We want to always look good. You know, we want us, we want our bosses to think we're fantastic at all times, right? So you've got to, you've got to create at all three levels a sort of non normal situation. And by non normal, I really mean one committed to learning and growing rather than to looking good. <laughs>